Greetings, greetings to you, greetings to you, wonderful one, enlightened one, insightful one, peaceful one, powerful one, prosperous one, productive one. Peace be upon you, blessings to you, and greetings. Greetings, greetings. This is Unlimited Life Academy. We are living our lives unlimited, changing lives with our lives. This is Jerome Shaw, marketing motivator and meditator, creator of the Open Palm Podcast, bringing a message right to you on this wonderful and beautiful day. So thank you for being here, my friend. Thank you for sharing your energy and your presence with me as we press on and press record. Hashtag hit the button. Hit the button today. Push fear aside. Push procrastination aside. Hit the button. Hit the button. Hashtag. All right. If you are live, hashtag live. If you're watching the replay, hashtag replay. Today we have a message for you. And that message is the energy checkbook. We're talking about the energy checkbook. I got this message actually from Dr. Bruce Lipton, the man who talks about the biology of belief, right? The energy checkbook. He talked about how every day it is like we are writing checks with our energy. Everything that we do, everything that we create, everything that we consume, we all know that there's a time for inhalation and a time for exhalation, right? But everything we do takes energy. Reading a book takes energy. Watching a video takes energy. Pushing the button takes energy. Watching someone else's live takes energy. Going for a run takes energy. Going for a walk takes energy. Everything that we do, my friend, we are giving that energy. So how are you giving your energy today? What are you writing away? What are you signing off on that energy checkbook? Because realize that you are writing checks with every single action that you make. It could be as big as, you know, or as little as it can be. It can be as small as opening the refrigerator door. Maybe small to you, but that took energy, right? Your body had to use a certain amount of energy just to lift my hand takes energy. So understand that each day we give a certain amount of energy to the different things that we do, the different tasks that we assign ourselves or, or we are assigned to, right? And in this wonderful challenge here on Unlimited Life Academy, I am giving you my energy. I am choosing to be here. What well, we are not changing, we are choosing. And we all make choices. But in the end, our choices make us. So what are you choosing today, my friend? What are you choosing in your life to give your energy away to? And what is taking your energy? What is draining your energy? What is sucking your energy? What is pressing your energy? What is pulling your energy? What is tugging your energy? Where is your energy going? And where is your energy flowing, my friend? We must ask ourselves these questions. I had to ask myself these questions because I found myself so many times in life without energy, without enough energy to make it through the day, always sleepy, tired, wondering where has my energy gone? Not understanding the flow of energy, not understanding that where our awareness goes, our energy flows. So I wasn't understanding what I was giving my energy to. And that is why I lacked an abundance of energy. I realized late in the game, but hey, <laughs> you know, we, better late than never, right? That less is more. The less time we spend on this, the more time we have for that. The less energy we give to this, the more energy we have for that. So wherever your awareness goes, energy flows. 
When you put energy into complaining, do not be surprised what comes back. When you put your energy into negativity, you should not be surprised what comes back. When you put your energy into your dream, into your passion, into your purpose, oh my friend, it's coming back. <laughs> Believe it. So don't be, a, don't be surprised what comes back. Where our awareness goes, energy flows, and that is what comes back. So what does this word mean? Encumber. Encumber, to be encumbered. The definition of encumber is to restrict or burden someone or something in such a way that free action or movement is difficult. Have you ever felt weighed down? Maybe you just ate a big meal, right? You ate a feast, you had a whole buffet, right? And your body feels heavy, you feel, you don't feel light, you feel weighed down, you feel grounded, but not in a good way, just really just where you are. Not really able to move freely, able to stretch out freely. You just feel in place, right? I have felt this way, my friend. I know how you feel. And it's funny because, you know, I used to have such a passion for playing video games. And there was a video game that I love is the Elder Scrolls series. And I can remember playing a video game called Oblivion, where I would pick up loot and different things that I would get off of, you know, my enemies. And I would just pick up loot here, loot here, there. Oh, another weapon. Oh, another weapon. Oh, some coins. Oh, a bag, a satchel. Oh, some plants. Oh, this and oh, that. And I would just pick up and gather all these resources and put them in my pouch, right? But if I put too much on, if I had too many clothes, if I had too many garments, if I had too many weapons and, and items of steel, what would happen? My character would be stuck. I would literally, in the game, be unable to move. Even in that virtual world, it was showing me a parallel, letting me know that if you have too much on, you can't move, there's nowhere you can go. And the game would tell me, it would tell me, you are over encumbered. And at the time, being young, I just knew, okay, I need to let some of these things go. I need to drop some of the items that I have picked up, that I have put on myself. I need to let some of this weight go. And once I let the weight go, the burden was lifted. I was no longer over encumbered. But when I had too many items, when I had too many stuff, when I was just putting this on and putting this on and putting this on and trying this on, you know, the, the SOS, the shiny object syndrome, when I lacked focus and I just, you know, ooh, a piece of candy, 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 ooh, a piece of candy. The game said, you are over encumbered and I would not be able to move. Have you felt like this in your life? Show some love if you have. Give me a reaction. Let me know that you are here, even if you are on the replay. So video games, they taught me that. That a character would not move if they were over encumbered. You are restricted or burdened in a way where movement becomes difficult. But when you are light, when you are less burdened, when you have less things on your plate, you can move freely. And what a freeing feeling it is. My friend, I want to ask you a question. How do you recharge? How do you recharge? We know that we're giving our energy away during the day. We're signing it on our energy checkbook. Here, you can have my energy. Okay, Facebook Live, here's some of my energy. Okay, customer, here's some of my energy. Okay, grocery store, here's some of my energy. Okay, TV show, Netflix, here's some of my energy. Okay, job, here's some of my energy, you know? And, but how do you recharge? We recharge our cell phones. We recharge our laptops. We charge our electronics. May we ever recharge our mindset? May you ever recharge your body, your beliefs, 
Do you take time to recharge those? Do you take time to recharge yourself, your life? You charge your cell phone, but you won't charge your creativity? <laughs> I ask myself these questions. And as I ask myself these questions, I know someone else out there is thinking the same. The way that I love to recharge is by meditation, by breathing with my friend here. So many ways to recharge. But if you find yourself over encumbered, burdened with the things in life that just have you like you can't move, like you don't have room to breathe, let go of some of that burden. Plug into something that can charge you up. Just like you plug your cell phone into that wall socket, find a plug for you. What will be your plug that can charge you up so that you can keep on going? Because I do believe that we must learn to rest, but not to quit. Two different things. When you are living in your purpose, when you are aligned with your dream, you may need rest. But I don't think that you get tired. Let me explain. You won't burn out when you are living in truth. When you are living in your passion and your purpose, there is no burnout. There is no time where you lack so much energy that you just, you're just done. But you will need rest and recovery. So the body needs rest. But your beliefs, your passions, your conviction and your purpose, if that is alive, you will recharge that energy. You will wake up in the morning and no longer dread the day. There are two types of pe people, uh, Dr. Wayne Dyer told me. There are those who say, good morning, God. And there are those who say, good God, morning. Right? Which one are you? And this is, this is not pertaining to your beliefs, but your mindset. Are you the type that wakes up and dreads the day? that is overburdened from the previous day and does not want to go out into the world that slaps the alarm clock seven times like I used to, slaps the alarm clock until it no longer alarms you? Let go of that burden. Relieve some of the pressure from yourself and understand that it is always within your power to do so. You don't have to be over encumbered, my friend. Have a light heart, have a light spirit. Life is too important to be taken seriously. That one took a long time for me to get. <laughs> I'm still learning that one. So thank you once again, as always, for being here. Thank you for being you, sharing your energy, because you are choosing right now. You are choosing to be here. If you have made it this far, I thank you and I bless you because we will never find time for anything. To have time, we must make it. So just as I am making the time to give you this message, you are making the time to listen. I admire that, I respect that, and I appreciate that. Join the group for more marketing motivation information for like-minded individuals like yourself who are learning and growing and becoming their greatest version. Share this message with a like-minded individual. I do not feel like these messages are heard often enough. We need more light in the world, more people who are willing to give, and less who are seeking to take. Comment below if you gained even a, a, a small nugget from this, or if you want to share a nugget of your own. I love to hear insightful messages and motivational messages from people who are excelling in their business and learning new things. Your voice has value. Your voice is valid. Hashtag hit the button. Hashtag live. Hashtag replay. 
We will catch you again. Today has been day 10 of the 30 day live challenge here on Unlimited Life Academy. And we were talking about the energy checkbook. See you tomorrow for day 11. Take care, my friend.